At first, when I found out she was missing, the main thing I was worried about is finding her body. And you did. Alive. That's the thing that got me. Hope was all but lost for Michelle Knight, but her mother always knew that she was out there and she kept pressing police. I didn't have no pictures or anything because I gave the police department my last picture that I had. The last 12 years for Barbara has been unspeakable. She's moved to Florida, and now, two days ago, a detective called her saying, That's your daughter. And I said, yeah. She left her home in Naples and flew to Cleveland right away. What did they tell you? What kind of condition was she in? Um, by my understanding, she's having, like, metro. But methane, met, ugh, I can't even pronounce it. Mental problems, and there's some other problems too. Back in the hospital, Michelle will have a lot to deal with in the upcoming months after being chained, beaten, and possibly drugged. But for now, all her mother wants to do is this. Just hug her and say, I love you. I haven't seen her in so long, and I can't wait to see her. Because she was my daughter and my best friend. In Cleveland, Jason Wynn, Channel 3 News.